A passionate response from one of Georgia's top medical professionals to Governor Kemp after the governor defended the state's COVID-19 response. This morning on CNN, Dr. Sanjay Gupta shared his thoughts on Governor Kemp's response to the White House Coronavirus Task Force report. The report indicates Georgia has the highest coronavirus case rate in the country. Yesterday, Governor Kemp said people need to look at all the numbers, including hospitalizations, to get a better idea of what's going on in our state. But Dr. Gupta says there is more to it than the numbers. We opened so early that even the president was sort of shocked Georgia's already opening. When we opened, we opened bars and nail salons and bowling alleys, had no regard for what was going to happen in the fall with schools. Uh, we have the fastest, the quickest pace of acceleration of new cases. We have the highest per capita cases in the country, perhaps in the world right now when it comes to Georgia. The, this governor expressed seemingly genuine surprise that this virus could spread asymptomatically despite the fact that people already knew this for weeks or for months. He, he uh, has not put a statewide mask mandate in and has threatened uh, mayors with lawsuits who do that. I mean, these are the facts. This is what my governor is doing for the people that I live with, my family in this state. So he wants people to have all the information. It's a disaster here in Georgia, Governor. I mean, nothing has gone right, and you've actually condemned and maligned the people who've actually tried to do something. Dr. Gupta is from Georgia. He's an associate professor of neurosurgery at Emory University Hospital, an associate chief of neurosurgery at Grady, and he was elected to the National Academy of Medicine. In other words, his take on this is an important part of the conversation around what is happening with COVID-19 in Georgia. And Aisha, he's also wrote pretty extensively about his perspective as a father, too. He has children that go to school in Georgia, in Fulton County, in fact, and he has opted to keep them home based on what he sees happening in that county and throughout the state. We see it unfolding. The schools that tried to go back, many of them are having to reverse course. The numbers are what the numbers are. We have a dedicated numbers team just so that we can look at it for ourselves and not try to play any games on either side to paint a picture either way. Right. And so what we're seeing is that it's been a dangerous situation for a lot of families. And even if you see the deaths going down, the fact is deaths are still happening and we don't wanna see that happen to any family. So we can't negotiate the facts here, Cheryl. We're gonna have much more details on the White House mm -hmm. report for you on 11alive.com.